No, this isn't Disneyland, and it's not some two-bit Midwest amusement park or alpine slide in some mountain resort town. Would you believe they attached this stainless steel coaster to the side of one of the seven wonders of the world, creating an exciting new way to get down a very old fortification. They stuck this slide on the Great Wall of China, a carnival ride on this mythical, magical, majestic monstrosity. How weird is that? We're about to find out in this episode of Window Seat. Just a two hour drive outside Beijing, we heard about an attraction too good to pass up, so we made a beeline for it. Of course, we already had the Great Wall of China on our bucket list. You can't come to this country and not visit what's truly one of the most remarkable sites on the entire planet. A truly stunning sight to behold in person, one of the most impressive feats of engineering in the history of the world. This fortification dating back nearly 3,000 years. It's one of the seven wonders of the world, the longest man-made structure on the planet. Get this, it once stretched 13,000 miles, 13,000. While most other tourists converge on Bottling, the most well-known section of the wall, closer to Beijing with the most well-preserved walls and stunning scenery, we chose a different route. We headed to the Mutianyu section because we knew this place provided the most unique way to see the wall. The journey starts with a long walk uphill to the small mountaintop village that welcomes you to one of the most famous sites in the world. A quick stop at the box office for a ticket that costs about 15 bucks and gives you access to the gondola ride, the wall, and the slide down. In no time at all, you are plopping down on a chairlift, and while all those other suckers are getting in their steps, you're up here taking in the bird's eye view. From above, you catch a glimpse of the snaking alpine coaster you'll be riding down just a few minutes from now. Still hard to believe they put something like this here. By the way, worth mentioning, if you're scared of heights, this might not be the best mode of transportation for you. We're quite a ways up here. But you quickly realize this is the only way to go when the Great Wall first comes into view high atop that mountain ridge. It's a breathtaking sight when you consider its history and significance. By the time you reach the end of the gondola ride, you are ready to experience one of the wonders of the world. What makes this place even more staggering is what it took to make it. They built a wall equal to half the length of the equator. It took more than a million people hundreds of years to finish it. Civilians, soldiers, convicts, they were all involved in the construction. And listen to this, they didn't use mortar to adhere these stones together. They used glutinous rice flour, sort of sticky rice soup is what's holding the wall together. It's nuts. The wall stands more than 20 feet high on average. It's steep, crumbling steps, difficult to navigate even for the most agile. The thing is falling apart. In fact, a third of the walls disappeared. In the 60s and 70s, miles of the wall were vandalized and destroyed. In fact, you can still spot some present-day graffiti if you look close enough. The government didn't start serious conservation efforts on the wall until 2006, so the fact that this much is still standing is testament to the grit, hard work, and tenacity that went into building it. A symbol of strength and a destination not to be missed. Okay, so you get it, the place is cool. Now it's time to get down from here. And again, we chose the coolest place on the entire wall to do that. We are gonna fly down this thing on a toboggan. We came up on a slow moving gondola and we're headed down on a fast moving coaster. Here we go. Reaching speeds of 12 miles per hour, we whiz alongside the Great Wall of China like the other adventure lovers right in front of us. And it turns out we're not the only ones with a flair for fun. Rumor has it, celebrities like Michelle Obama and Peyton Manning have also descended the Great Wall on this very slide too. Woo! 
With your hand on the joystick, you control your speed and your brakes, twisting and turning the whole way down. Ah! The only downside, your speed depends on the person right in front of you. If they're slow, you gotta be slow too. Keep this in mind as you speed toward the bottom. Once at the end, you can gloat in the knowledge that you have conquered the quirkiest attraction on the entire Great Wall of China, a slide befitting a small mountain amusement park plunked alongside one of the most impressive structures on planet Earth. Listen, any trip to the Great Wall of China is memorable, but as we begin our trek back to Beijing, we know we have just spent a day we will never forget.